Hi, today we're going to be taking apart the BlackBerry Passport. So we're going to begin by popping off this back cover here. Now this cover houses some screws as well as the SIM card slot and the memory card slot. As you can see, it's just a simple plastic cover. As you can see here, there's five screws that we're gonna need to remove. So let's begin. You're gonna be using a T4 screwdriver. Make sure you keep these five screws together. Then we're gonna remove the bottom cover under the keyboard and remove two more screws, also using a T4. Once those are removed, make sure you keep them together and separate from the other ones. Now we're gonna pry up the battery cover. This will come off relatively easily. Um, and uh, as you can see, just gotta pop it up with a opener tool and then unhook the clamps that hold it down. Okay, so the battery sits underneath this. As you can see, you see the camera here, the memory card slot, the SIM card slot, charger port down here. Um, you know, we got some flex cables here that I'm gonna be unplugging. So let's get started. We're now going to use a screwdriver to remove the battery. Now the battery clip is screwed on, so that's what we're gonna unscrew here. Now once that's removed, you, you're gonna be tempted to remove the battery, but uh, I would recommend removing the, math, um, the motherboard. <laughs> I would recommend moving removing the motherboard first. <laughs> uh, anyways. <laughs> so we're gonna unplug this. Uh, <laughs> sorry. We're going to unplug this uh, connector here. <laughs> and then uh, we're also gonna unplug this connector. And uh, there's a screw here, there's one here, one here, one here, and another one there. We're going to remove them all. Uh, the ones that pertain to the motherboard are not the black ones though, just the silver ones. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward this, but I'm still talking because I'm recording a voiceover. So you would you would ask yourself, why didn't I just start over? Um, I apologize, I should, but I, I don't know, whatever. Okay, so make sure you don't rip that connector. So here's the motherboard. I'm disappointed that the charger port is not uh, detachable without soldering, but hopefully it holds better than the playbook. Okay, so now the battery will be easier to remove because you have access to uh, pry it up from every angle. You could use heat. Um, some people use heat on the battery. I don't use heat on the battery because I had a bad experience one time and just scared me from doing it again because I know that you're gonna type someone's gonna be down there saying you could have used a little heat on the battery but uh, you know whatever I'd rather be safe 
So once those screws are out, there's a few more screws. I'm gonna remove the frame before we get to the battery. So those black screws on the edges were for the frame. And there's also this little silver one here that was hidden when the motherboard was in place. So we're gonna remove that also and the uh, headphone jack as well as the vibrator motor. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cut that one out, that's just too much. Okay, so that's out, and then uh, the vibrator motor. Uh, what? I think I derped. Okay, yeah, you did not have to remove the vibrator motor. <laughs> I'm sorry, just a voiceover and uh, and uh, this video was recorded a couple months ago and I'm just doing the voiceover for it now. I'm really sorry, just been really busy. So here's the frame, the playbook for the passport. Also, I'm gonna disclose that this was the first time I took apart a passport ever. And I did not see another uh, take apart tutorial yet at the time. That's why I was making this, but I dropped the ball on it, so. Anyways, let's take the battery out. So what I did is I pried from one. Now you can't push too hard, but you do have to push firmly. You don't want to push too hard because you can puncture the battery or you can break the screen. So what I did is just, just put a little pressure and just waited and it slowly starts to come up. Just don't rush the process and uh, don't push too hard. If there was sound you hear like a, like a, I can't even imitate it. You know, like tape coming loose. I just loosen the screws by going, uh, the screws, the glue, by going around with the opener tool and just prying from different uh, angles and different locations. So we're getting there. It, it took some time. Like I said, I could have used heat, might have made it easier. I also might have messed up the battery, so I didn't want to. Looks like I'm not doing anything, but I am. I'm pushing down and I'm lifting at the same time and that's causing the battery to slowly peel itself from the screen or whatever you want to call this assembly. At this point, I feel that I have one a great battle and it came out and uh, that's it that's it for the battery so now this is a screen assembly let me uh, show it to you it's got the speaker at the top and uh, the keyboard here at the bottom which we actually are going to remove because if you're changing the screen it probably isn't, is not going to come with a keyboard so you got to remove this piece of tape don't lose it it's important this to go back where it was. And then there's two little tiny screws here. And we're gonna remove those. I believe those are T1 or two. I'm pretty sure it's T1. And then you're gonna remove those, they're tiny and they're specific, so don't lose them. And you do need them for the structural integrity of the device. Okay. So Keyboard just comes off, as you can see. So here's the screen. And if you buy the screen, I highly recommend getting it with the assembly, with that metal frame behind it. If you don't, it's still doable, but I'd recommend getting it with this frame. So there's the keyboard. And here's the whole phone taken apart. That's it, it's nice. It's actually pretty easy to work on. After you've done it once, it's even easier. And if you're watching a video tutorial, it's probably even easier. So the reassembly, I don't know, I'm gonna put it, I always put the reassembly. Uh, I mean, I guess you could probably follow the old steps backwards, but here we go anyways. You reattach the keyboard. Put 
back those little uh, T1 screws. Yep. And then the tape. And then the battery. It's still gonna have enough stickiness that it's gonna be fine. You don't have to re-glue it or anything. And then we can put the frame. Let's put the frame on now. And now we're going to put the, uh, the little screw here. Now I hope you guys remembered where they all go and uh, or you kept them in order. I did. Now the black ones are typically for the frame. So make sure the keyboard clicks uh, properly like it should and it's sturdy. We'll reattach the uh, headphone jack. And when putting the motherboard back, make sure that you don't leave any of the connectors or the flex cables underneath the motherboard because all the plugs are on top. So clip in where they went. Now the battery connector, remember that there's a little screw to secure it. Put all the screws in their corresponding locations. Okay, once all the screws are in, reattach this uh, heat guard for the battery, or I'm not sure what it does exactly. It might not be that sticky anymore, but do what you can. A 
like so. Or like so. Yes, this is how it went. Okay, now we're gonna put the back cover back on. It just clips on nice and easy. Make sure everything's tight. The keyboard clicks in and the letters all, you know, they type properly. You don't want them to be uh, not working when you're done. You're, you're gonna reattach the screws on the front underneath the keyboard. And then of course the other five screws on the back. Once these screws are in, turn it over, put in those five screws. Then you're gonna put the covers back on and you're done. I will post links in the description below if you're looking for parts. And uh, you know, thanks for watching. Any questions, let me know. I'll try to, to get back to you guys. Pretty busy, but uh, I'll try to do what I can. And uh, thanks for watching.